A lot of people who come in here, especially on their initial exam, hear me use the term ab fraction. And I've got a patient here that has uh, some great examples of what an ab fraction is. And a lot of times it's just a little notched out area right at the gum line, kind of like what you see there. But other times it becomes bigger, like what you see on these up here. And many dentists over the years have explained this away, and I'm not sure exactly why they do this, but they explain this away as if the patient brushes their teeth too hard. And I guess to a non-dental person, that kind of would make sense if you really, you know, gave it that kind of an action um, over a long period of time. But what this is, is this tells me that her lower arch and her upper arch are not in harmony. And she is putting some pressures on these teeth that the teeth don't like. It could be that she clenches. It could be that she grinds. It could be that she has some weird way of holding her habit when she's concentrating. There's a lot of different things that can cause it. But basically, what we're going to do today is go in and we're going to uh, bond composite uh, material into these areas which will get the teeth back to their normal contour so that they look better. I may also uh, end up recommending that some tissue grafting ultimately be done in this particular case. But in filling these abfraction areas you are basically just covering up the abfraction. You're not fixing the problem. The underlying problem still is there. So usually in about 8 to 10 years, the ab fraction will get bigger to the point that the filling will pop out and you'll have to do it all over again.